Make your next indie game with Maya LT. Maya LT gives you essential animation, modeling, and texturing tools that are laser focused on the creation of real time in game art. Here's how it works Jake, the environment artist, needs to create a building. He needs a flexible collection of polygon modeling tools to do it. Extrusions, booleans, bevels, cuts, and welds, all important tools in Jake's arsenal. When Jake's building's finished, it's time to add some color. Jake needs to UV map his building, bake some textures, and put it all together in a physically based shader. And support for mail scripting make it easier for less technical artists like Jake to focus on creative tasks by using custom tools built by someone else on the team. Jake's partner in crime, Ginny the character artist, has a similar job. Ginny might start out using the same tools, but sometimes it's easier to start organic shapes and characters using sculpting tools. But Ginny's also concerned with creating a game asset that animates well, so she'll need to retopologize her model so that it has proper edge flow. Just like Jake, Ginny also needs to texture her new character. And while UV mapping may never be fun, it's good to know that Maya LT makes it easy. Ginny can automatically unfold her character's UVs quickly. She can then use interactive tools to make adjustments, such as the cutting and sewing tools, or the UV smear and pinning tools. And when Ginny's all finished, she can make sure her UV maps are clean and free of overly distorted spots. Adding believable textures to her character is just as easy. She can use shader effects to create real-time, physically-based shaders for DirectX 11 or OpenGL. Or Ginny could use Maya LT's built-in substance shader support if she prefers. Maya LT's animation tools let Ginny bring life to her characters. Ginny could start out creating her own skeleton to animate with, or she could use Human IK and set up one with the click of a few buttons. She can also animate from scratch, or pull in some motion capture and use Human IK to retarget that mocap onto her character. But sometimes, character animation needs more than a few bones to pull off. In this case, Ginny can use tools like blend shapes and control rigs for things like pupils and faces, or spline IK for things like tails. Of course, Jenny might also use any number of Maya LT's other animation tools to get the job done. When Jake and Jenny are through making, they need a quick way to get their creations into the game. Besides FBX and OBJ export, they've got a lot of options. Since they're making a Unity game, they can send their buildings and characters to the game's Unity project using Send to Unity. If they change engines to Unreal later down the road, they can do the same thing just as easily. Jenny has different export needs than Jake. So Jenny uses the game exporter to name and define animation takes for her characters. She can save her animation takes as a single FBX file with multiple takes in it, or as multiple FBX files with a single animation take in it. Since Jake and Jenny work remotely from the rest of the team, they really appreciate the built-in access to Dropbox and Autodesk 360, which lets them store and share their assets through the cloud from within the My LT UI. Jake is always working, even on the road. MyLT lets Jake download models he creates in 1-2-3D Sculpt and 1-2-3D Catch. For Jake, this lets him create initial ideas on the go and refine later when he's back at his desktop. Indie game makers like Jake and Jenny can access MyLT through low-cost desktop subscription plans. They can pay by the month, every three months, or pay up front for a year, which is great for Jenny since she works freelance. With powerful 3D tools and low-cost subscriptions, MyLT's game making tools are ready and waiting for you to make something amazing. Why not get started today?